morning again, Michelle here. Okay, I'm in the one outfit that I reviewed if you saw my previous video. So I am in the Trinity high-waisted leggings and the Haven long sleeve top. It is cold out here. So I am braving the cold to do a video for you guys, but we're gonna put this outfit to the test and see how much sweat fray really shows. I am predicting a lot, so. <laughs> but the top is nice, it's not lined, so it seems very comfortable. It seems like um, it's very lightweight. Long, long sleeves to keep my arms warm, but very lightweight, so I don't feel like I'm getting, gonna be too, too hot in it, so we'll find out. So I have thighs on fire today, and we are going to do a couple new moves in this video. So um, you don't need a lot of stuff. I have kettlebells, I have boxes, and I have a ball, and that is it. You don't really need weights for um, the majority of the exercises. Of course, for like the deadlifts and the swings, you're gonna need something. So if you don't have a kettlebell and you have dumbbells or you have a sandbag or whatever you have, you can use um, to do those exercises, okay? So we are gonna get started. And um, we have, there's two circuits. Then there is a two minute countdown. And then we are gonna do the ab circuit. Day. It's quiet, it's so peaceful out there. But I am getting started later because I reviewed the clothes first. If you didn't watch the video, Fabletic sent me um, stuff to review and uh, I get it for free. So it only took, I think, a year or over a year for me to get the stuff. But hey, you know what? I'll do it. And um, they sent me stuff that I never thought that I would have never looked at and purchased. March it wide. I have my gloves on already. I'm ready to go. My fingers are freezing, so we're gonna see how this goes. Once I get warmed up, it shouldn't be bad. It has been unbelievably cold here lately. Don't march, deep breath. Inhale, I'm talking too much. I need to get some air in and exhale. Inhale, not used to having a shirt right up, okay? You're gonna have to look at my flabby baby body. That's, everybody's got a part that they don't like on them. Toe taps right here. And my stomach is my demon uh, after having kids and being 51 years old. I, I, and you know what, let's face it. I guess if I went to just straight, plain old chicken breasts and vegetables every day for every meal, I could lose, you know, the last five or so pounds and yet but I want to enjoy life I want to eat and I work out and okay I'm good with it so reach overhead right here that's that's all I'll say and I'm not gonna hate I'm not gonna body hate you know what it hits my body it gets me where I'm going and that's all there is to it so love those parts on you you've made them four three two we're gonna step together and pull the arms in arms feeling a little bit better i have found a foam rolling video from anita goa i don't know if you guys follow her or not i'll put the link below man oh man she does a yoga video for upper body but she uses the foam roller oh my it is amazing i've been doing it every day i try to do it at least once a day four three two we're gonna bring the knees up right here and the arms go over over but she i try to do it every day lacy i've got i'm really working on her she doesn't seem to be pulling as much I do have periodically a person or two that has that high deep voice and they get her excited and then she pulls to go and see them. But uh, other than that, I'm really working on her and I'm working on fixing. I really think that I did it when I fell over her. So I'm working on fixing that rotator cuff, but my range of motion is getting better and it's a gradual thing. Three, Two, one, heel taps to the floor, heel taps, pull the arms, 
palms face up, pull them back, squeeze the back, tap down. Four, three, two, and one. March it out right here, march it out. March it wide, heels back. We gotta really <laughs> wake up those legs because I think your thighs are gonna be on fire. I think my thighs are gonna be on fire today. We're gonna press the arms down. Four more, four, three, two, and one. March it, bring it in. Take that right leg, press it back. Raise up and down, lift and lower. Four, three. We're gonna stay up on that toe right here. Stay up, drop the knee down. Three and four, hold it here, pelvic tilt. Get that hip flexor. Drop the knee to the floor. Walk that left leg out. Lean into it. Stay in an upright position. Stretch out that hip flexor. Psoas muscle. Come back. Walk the foot back. Press up and step in. Take that left leg back. Lift the toe up. Here's four, three, Two, stay up on one, right here, stay up. Drop the knee down, two, three, and hold it, pelvic tilt. Ooh, so as hip flexor, drop the knee down, walk the right leg out, lunge in, high lunge, arms are up. If that's too much, you can keep your arms at the side, just don't come forward. We're stretching out the hip flexor, feeling the glutes, Waking everything up, lower it down, walk the foot in, come back up, deep breath, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. All right, okay. To talk to you. So, I'm gonna hit the timer. We are gonna do heavy kettlebell swings. We're gonna drop that heavy kettlebell, or you can keep it, and you're gonna do a squat with an overhead press with the kettlebell, with the bar, whatever you have. Oh, that's a loud timer. Okay, kettlebell swing is first. I got the heavy one, I got the 35 pounder. You are bending at the knees, thrusting the hips forward. Don't swing the weight up with the arm. to a plank knee tuck after this squat overhead press squat overhead press make sure when you're squatting that you keep those knees wide elbows go between the knees knees stay out if your knees are buckling, too much weight. Lower that weight down. If you need to elevate your heels, you wanna keep that weight in the heels. So you can elevate the toes or the heels. Woo. Plank knee tuck, right and left. 
and two plank jacks. Press out of the shoulders. Knee tuck right, knee tuck left. Two plank jacks. Knee tuck, two plank jacks. Knee tuck, knee tuck. I forgot to bring my towel out. Knee tuck. Two plank jacks. Press out of the shoulders. Back is pair up straight, neutral spine. with a rotation. Oh, I have a towel over here. Sorry guys. Rotate right. Rotate over the left. warm-up circuit to get that heart rate up, that blood pumping to all of those muscles. Okay, that's one round. You know how I do it. Grab a drink if you need it, towel off if you need it, and we're going to start the next round. I moved through this at the gym. I set them all up for 12 rounds. Didn't stop. Kettlebells or swings are awesome. They get everything. Put that kettlebell down. If you want to put your hands on your kettlebell, you can, or a ball. We're gonna go into that plank knee tuck. Two jacks, knee tuck. Now make sure you're looking down between the hands. Neutral spine. Don't look under at your feet. You wanna keep a neutral spine. Engage the core. Go into that V up next. 
Should be warming up. Be up. You should feel this everywhere. Arms from holding in a plank. Core. Legs. One more round. Grab a drink, towel off if you need to. Otherwise, follow me. If you need to hit pause and catch your breath, you go right ahead. You work at your fitness level. feel that in my thighs, they get my heart rate up, my arms, my core. Okay, planks, knee tuck, hands under shoulders, press out of the chest, knee tuck, two jacks, knee tuck, don't look under that body, look between the hands, neutral spine. side of the leg coming up.
We are moving on. Circuit. 10 and 50. There's a squirrel on our screen. Five exercises in this one. All right. I used the ball for this for the um, last three exercises. I used dumbbells. Actually, I used kettlebells for the um, for the front bench lunge, but I didn't bring them out. So we are going to do. Uh, we'll. I'll use the 20 pound kettlebell and I'll hold it at my chest and show you that you don't need to hold if you have stuff that you can hold down below. The ball works too. Front bench, inner thigh lunge. We're gonna hit those inner thighs. Lunge and turn the toe out. Two o'clock and 10 o'clock. Oh, my boxes are sliding. I think I need to turn them so that the rough side meets the rough side so they don't slide on me. I'll fix that before the next round. We are going down to the floor after this one. You're gonna do an elbow plank down up and shoulder tap right and left. Feel those inner thighs. You feel that Anna? Do you feel that? Okay, elbow plank. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, tap. to the side. You can either do a slam with the ball, plie squat, or take the weight over. So you can slam, but you don't have to. You can twist. Keep the ball. Woo. Jumping jack with the ball. Okay, sweat's coming down off of my face now. Feeling it in the thighs. Reach out, 
Roll up, tricep. Make sure that when you tap that ball, you're pressing the lower back into the floor. Don't let it arch. Okay, that was the one round. We have two more rounds. I'm gonna stack these, see if they don't slide this way. Okay. If you don't have a weight, you can still do front bench lunge. You can hold your hands at the side. Make sure that you pull your shoulders back and that you lunge. Stay face up. Don't lunge into that leg. We're not doing the quadricep. You're getting the inner thigh of the leg dropping down to the floor as well as the inner thigh of the leg turning out, plus the quadricep of this top leg. But don't lunge forward. You plant and drop. tucks with those elbow planks I think I saw that elbow plank oh no elbow plank down down up up and shoulder tap I guess the, the, the other ones were in the first one hold your core tight back is straight neutral spine seconds. Whew. Whew. Grab that ball or a weight. If you don't have a ball and you have a dumbbell, I have a little dumbbell here. You can go plie squat, plie squat, turn. You're rolling to the side. If you have a slam ball, you can slam that weight to the ground, but you get the same effect by rowing and dropping that hand to the outside of the front knee. seconds. Jumping jacks. If you don't have a ball and you have a kettlebell, you can use the, or I mean a dumbbell, you can use the dumbbell. Get those inner thighs. As you hop out, you're in a plie. As you hop in, you crisscross those feet and contract the inner thighs. Are they burning? It should be. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to keep with the dumbbell for this one. Tap it overhead. Back goes into the floor. Reach over and tap. If the weight is light, you can do one arm at a time. sweating like it's coming down off of me I can feel it I don't know if it's sweating in the butt or not let's do it we have one more round okay kettlebells right here if you want to you can hold the kettlebell over your head but you want to make sure that you engage the core turn those toes out Drop those thighs down. Don't lunge forward on the bench. You plant the foot and you drop down. It is an inner thigh lunge. I can't talk and hold this weight up. Okay, settle down, Michelle. There we go. It's harder overhead. Even if you just use that five pound weight that I had back there. You really have to engage the core, the shoulders, the arms, and focus on the legs. So if you don't have a lot of weight and you wanna challenge yourself, that is the way to go. Hold whatever weight you have over your head. Elbow plank, down, up, tap. I'm throwing in these moves to help with my shoulder training. So I can't do push-ups because it hurts going down. And I finally got the back of my shoulder better. Now I'm working down the side. And if I went to the doctor, they would tell me the same thing and they would send me to physical therapy and I know what to do for physical therapy. So I'm not doing it. It just takes a while for it to heal. Woo, I gotta wipe the sweat. Okay, plie squat, turn side lunge, either ball slam or swing it over. You can ball slam it. This one bounces a little too much. It's not like the slam ball. So I prefer to swing this one. Turn. those jacks. I'm sweating. Okay, ready for your thighs? <clears throat> Plie, jump out, bend those legs, cross those feet when you come in, feel that inner thigh.
Mo slice the bar. Sweat on the knees. When you take that ball back to top, you want to pull the tailbone towards the feet. All right? That's how you keep from arching your back. Your pelvic tilt and push the tailbone towards the feet. This is your last round. Oh. explain this one. You have to do 30 deadlifts with the heavy kettlebell or whatever you have. If you have a band or a tube, then then you're going to do 20 times two mountain climbers to a slow oblique mountain climber. We're going to go through that two times and then we are going to do the lunge series. So I'm going to show you the lunge. So we're getting ready for the booty. Okay. Thigh and booty. So and you go front lunge, squat, left lunge, two pulses. And, and then you go front with the right, squat, and left, down. We're doing two minutes of this, all right? So when you bring that kicked leg forward and plant it, the other leg coming from the kneeling position is the leg you lunge with. We're alternating legs, front lunges and reverse lunges. And we're putting a glute squeeze and a squat in there. You're like, whoa, you just blew my mind. Okay, don't worry, you'll get it, you'll get it. Okay, how cute you want it. So let me show you on the floor first. And then if, you, if you're advanced and you wanna take it, if you have boxes and you wanna take it to the boxes, you're gonna come up and squeeze those glutes. Three, four, slight bend in the knee, push that butt back, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, give me another ten, ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have 10 more, 10, nine, here's six, four, squeeze that butt when you come up, one more. Woo. Okay, put that kettlebell down. Mountain climbers, one, two, hold. One, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Five, six, here's 10, 10 more. Seven, four, two, and one. Whew. Grab that kettlebell. If you have boxes and you want to, you can go up to a box, the boxes, plant the feet wide, bend the knees, Two, three, 
five, six, Another 10, push that butt back. Seven, six, three, two, and one. Whew. Kettlebell down, mountain climb. Move these out of the way because we're going into a two minute countdown next. One, Right front lunge, right front lunge, squat, left reverse lunge, kneel, two pulses, right, go left, front lunge, squat, right, left goes forward. Squat, left, left, squat, right, right, squat, left, right goes back, now left comes forward, left, squat, feel those inner thighs as well as those glutes. Stretch forward, squat. 40 seconds, left forward, squat. Right forward, squat. Left forward, squat, right back. Right forward, squat, left, back. Left forward, squat, right, back. Right forward, squat, left, back, finish it out. Come on up. Whew. <laughs> Feel those inner thighs. Do you feel the man? <laughs> wow. Okay. We go back to those kettlebell deadlifts. You pick the weight you want to do. If you want to use the boxes, you can use the boxes. You can get a little bit lower and feel that in the thighs. Here's the boxes. Knees are bent. One. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Here's 10, another 10, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 more. This is 30. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready for those mountain climbers? You're like anything but deadlifts, right? If you want to be on the box, You can, you can put your hands on the box. Two. Six. Nine. Ten. Ten more, nine. two minute countdown. So if you want that box, those boxes, whoo, it is running down off my face. I hope you guys feel it too. Deadlifts, bend the knees, plie, toes are out. One, two. When you're on the boxes and you come forward, you really feel those inner thighs. And push that butt back and then squeeze it as you come up. There's nine, 10, another 10. 10, Four, two, ten more. This is your last ten. Make them ten good ones. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. two, and one, mountain climbers. Move the boxes, because we have that two minute countdown next. One, six, Here's 10, 10 more. Four, two, woo. Okay, towel walk, grab a drink if you need one. When I hit the timer, we're going into that lunge with the glute pulse. I'm ready. I want to keep that heart rate up. If you need to pause, you go ahead and pause the video. Right out, squat, left back. Two pulses, come up. Left out, squat, right back. Two, right. Squat, left back. Come forward with the right, go left, lunge. Squat, 
right back. Right lunge, squat, left lunge, back. Left. Can you feel those inner thighs? We have a minute and three seconds. We're halfway there. Left lunge, squat. Right lunge. Quads, thighs, and glutes. Left lunge, squat. Right lunge, squat. Left lunge. 23 seconds. Sorry about that. Looking at the clock, telling you how long we have. You can do it. Right goes out. Right lunge. Squat. Left lunge. Your inner thighs should be burning. You should feel it in your quads as well. Let's finish this one out. Woo. All right. Two rounds of your two minutes. Towel walk, get a drink. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our cardio move. There are five exercises. We're going through it three times. This one is numbers, all right? You, because the, these are, these are hard. <laughs> so we're doing 10. We're gonna squat out wide right to a right crossover lunge and then a jumping jack and then we're gonna to go to the left. So when you squat out, squat out right, crossover lunge, jack. Squat out left, inner thigh. We're not doing a regular squat. You wanna go out with that half plie, all right? Cause then you're gonna pull it back for a reverse crossover. So take your toe wide, all right? We are gonna get started. There are five exercises. I'll, keep, I'll go through them with you. Um, the next one, the next two after this. And I, uh, Olivia, you're gonna be using your sentence enhancers. Okay, let's go. Right out, crossover lunge, jack. Left out, crossover lunge. There's two, right? Left my balls behind me. There's six, seven, eight, nine, here's 10. All right. We are going down low to the floor. Right leg, you're gonna take it out and you're gonna turn that toe. You're gonna lunge back and tap the ankle to the calf. Three, four, five. Halfway there, seven. more, two, and one. Uh, whew, you feel that inner thigh? <laughs> okay, left leg is out, toe is out, and we're gonna lunge back, tap. Two, stay low, four, five, halfway there, six, five, four, feeling it here in the inner thigh, two, and one. Whew. Oh my goodness, walk that one out. It doesn't get any easier though, I'm gonna tell you now. We're doing two reverse crossover lunges to a squat, 
and you're gonna go kneel down, down, up, up, and then we're gonna do it to the left leg. Then we're gonna do 10 of these, okay? Two pulses, squat, kneel down, down, up, up, two pulses, squat, down, down, up, up, squat up. Two, squat down, kneel down. Now, you wanna make it harder? Jump squat, four, squat. Kneel down, down, up, up, jump squat. Here's five, squat. Kneel down, down, up, up. And you can either jump squat or squat up. Kneel down, down, this one's eight. Right leg, nine. Feel those inner thighs. There's 10. Pulse it back, squat. Kneel down, down, up, up. Okay. If you have a ball, you can put it between your legs. I don't know if this is gonna stay. You're squeezing that ball tight with your thighs to hold it in place, and you're coming up. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, that's your thighs. All right, we're going back to those jumping jacks. Take a break if you need to. Pause me if you need to. I want you to feel this. You shouldn't be doing a lot of weight with this. This should be all repetitions and the moves. So, squat out, lunge, jack. Squat out, crossover lunge. There's two, three, four, Five, six, eight, two more, nine, ten. Oh, oh my goodness, right, right leg. Turn that toe out, walk that foot out. One, right inner thigh. Four, five, six, seven, two more, two and one. Stay low on them and you should really feel it in this inner thigh. Left leg is out. One, toe goes out. Two, three, six, seven, two more, two and one. Oh. You feel them? Shake them out, we're not done. We've got your pulses. So, two pulses right, squat. Kneel down, down, up, up. And you can either squat or jump squat. Two pulses left, down, down, up, up. You can squat on the odds and jump squat on the evens if you want. Here's four. Here's five. We're halfway there. You can just squat and lift. Six. Your inner thighs should be on fire. Here's seven. Oh. 
eight. Nine. Here's ten. Are your thighs burning? Wow. Okay. If you don't have a ball, you can take a, a bell or a dumbbell and put it between your legs. Anything that you can keep squeezing the inner thighs in. I'm gonna have to, I don't wanna snag these. That's, that's not gonna work for me. These are too slippery and they're sliding, the ball barely works. So if you need to hold the weight there, hold the weight in place so it doesn't fall. Gently, squeeze with your knees though. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got gotcha. you. If you don't have a ball and you have a wall, come to a wall sit and you want to squeeze, 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 one, two. Okay? Everybody's gotta have a wall in the house, all right? One more round, one more round of these. So we're going back to the jacks. Squat out wide, reverse crossover. One, two, three. Go down into that plie squat. Five, we're halfway there. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you ready for that right lunge? Okay, walk that right foot out. You're gonna go one, drop that knee. Eight, ten, two more, two, oh, and one. Can you feel that? Okay, left leg is out. Lunge back, one, Two more, two and one. Oh. Whew. Okay, ready for those pulses? Crossover pulse, one, two, squat. Kneel down, down, up, up, into a squat and stand, or a jump squat, two. Up, up, three, Kneel down, down, up, up. Four. There's five. There's six. Down, down, up, up. Either jump squat or stand. Here's seven. Down, down. Here's eight. Nine.
Last one. 10. Oh, you're like glad. Right, Olivia? Calling all kinds of names, aren't you? Okay. So see, you can see the sweat in the gray, which is why I usually don't order them. That's all right. All right, you ready? Squeeze those inner thighs, either at the wall or with a ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Shake out those legs. Okay, got your thighs on fire. Our 10 exercises, we're going through this two times. So the timer will go off on 10 and we'll, re we'll, com we'll repeat it for a second round. All right, all right. Hold the core in, feet are off the ground, V up. You can reach your hands up to your feet. Or you can take the elbow behind the head. Either way. Okay, now you're gonna bring that right leg behind, left leg's gonna go out, and you're gonna do a single leg lift. Lift, inner thigh, point that toe. If you wanna add a re little resistance, you can add that right leg to the left, come up into, onto your elbows, and it's a single leg lift. So you've got the weight of the right leg pushing down on the left. If it's too much, you can take that right leg behind, point that toe. Your inner thigh should be shaking, mine is shaking. We're gonna roll over and do a left V up. So we're gonna repeat it on the left side. I will I'll roll to face you. The up is first. leg behind, the right leg comes out. Got sweat rolling into my eyes. I don't want to lose my contact. Point that toe. You can add that left leg on top for that thigh lift. Engage the core. You're still working the abdominals as well. You've got to keep the core engaged and you either lift 
the right leg alone or you can add the left leg for some resistance. Woo. We're gonna roll into our back for a reverse crunch. So you're gonna raise up into the air and tap down. When you tap your legs to the floor, your toes to the floor, you wanna make sure your lower back stays in the floor, in the ground. And as you come up, you wanna press up to the ceiling, not over the head, just straight up and press your feet to the ceiling. We're gonna keep our legs up on the next one and we're gonna do a frog press. And then open the legs wide. So hold your legs up. You're gonna come down and open. Down. Open. Engage that core. Press that lower back into the floor. You're going to hold the legs up. Press the lower back into the floor. Contract the abdominals. And you're gonna hold them up, crisscross legs. Now, make sure that you keep your lower back Press into the floor. Bring the upper body up. You're going to tap down. Single taps. right, left.
Roll over, hyper extensions. If you have a stability ball out with you, you can use your stability ball. on your right side. Got this until I roll over. All right. Okay, now you can either cross your leg behind or you can place your right leg on top of your left. Point that toe, single leg, inner thigh lift. Like I said, either point it, concentrate on the inner thigh or you can add some resistance with your right leg. Are your thighs shaking? They should be shaking. Mine are shaking. Oh. oh, I can feel that. You should feel that in the inner thigh. These are awesome. You can lay down and do them anywhere. Roll over. Left. V up. seconds. My thighs are burning. 
I don't think I need that extra resistance. Inner thigh. Well, they seem to dry pretty quickly, as you can see. I don't see too many sweat marks. The material is a little bit different. It's um, not super slick shiny, but it's not cottony either. Okay, um, reverse crunch. Remember, we're gonna tap our feet down for this one. Tap down, lift up. Feet are going to the ceiling, not over the head. So don't swing them back with momentum. You wanna, you wanna reach up like you're stamping your feet on the ceiling. And when you tap down, you wanna make sure that you keep that lower back in the ground. Because if you arch your back, you're gonna get into the hip flexors and you don't want that. You wanna engage the core. We've got that frog press next. Keep the feet up. Press the lower back into the floor. Tighten the lower abdominals. Down and then open wide. Down, heels are together. Crisscross legs next. <sighs> yep, crisscross those legs. Press that lower back into the floor. You can lower the legs down if you want to, or onto a 45, so that you feel that in the lower abdominals as well. Press that lower back into the floor. <sighs> We've got tabletop next. tabletop and you're going to tap down hands behind the head or over lift the chest and the shoulders off the floor Twist, uh, crunch knee in, twist right and left.
hyperextensions. Our last. Roll over onto the stomach. Or if you have a BOSU ball or a stability ball, and then bring one out with me, you can do them to the floor. You don't have to take your hands off the floor if you don't want to, but you're not pressing up with the hands. You're just using the hands to stabilize, contract, and work the lower back the erectus spinal muscles that run along the spine. We are going to cool it down. Let me get these gloves off. You're going to sit back into a child's pose. So take your knees wide and your feet together. Reach the arms out. Chin goes between the arms. Try and get it down to the floor. Now, Instead of just reaching out and feeling that pull, as you reach out, try and pull your shoulders back uh, to your back. Don't let your shoulders round up to your ears. Pull them back in to your back and feel that stretch in the shoulder blades. And release it. Come on up onto the hands and knees. Give me a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round it up in cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Hold it here, roll back onto the feet, take your toes to the mat, press back and come up into a downward facing dog. Hold the stomach in, hands press into the floor and you wanna press that chest towards the thigh. Feel a stretch in the glutes and all the way down the back of the leg, the hamstrings and into the calf. You're gonna lift the right leg up and press the left leg in. Then you're gonna lift the left leg up and press the right leg in. Again, do it right up and left up. One more time, right and left. We have to stretch out these poor inner thighs. We work them so hard. Press both feet down. You're gonna raise the right leg up. Press through that heel. Feel that stretch all the way through from the foot all the way to the head. So feel that stretch in the, or the abs. Now turn that knee up, get a stretch in the obliques. Bring it back to the front and you're gonna pull in. Right knee comes in, hold it. You're gonna bring that right foot forward and you're gonna come up into a high lunge. Turn that left foot back and you're into a warrior one position. Open up into a warrior two. Back to a warrior three. Fall forward, right hand to the floor. Left arm comes up, reach it over. This is a side angle pose. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh right here. 
You wanna pull the head and the neck out and the spine is long. You're gonna turn, you're gonna plant that right hand and you're gonna reach up. Oh, nice stretch right across the glutes and the outer thigh and hip. Back to the front and you're gonna come back into a downward dog, three-legged down dog. Open up that leg again. Come forward, pull that right knee to the outside of the hand. Drop that left leg down and we've got lizard pose. If you want to, walk the foot out a little bit more, walk the hands down to the floor. You can either stay up but you want a straight, neutral spine. You don't want to be like this. You want to pull that head out of the turtle shell. So if you need to come down to the knees, come down onto that left knee. Otherwise you can stay up and feel that stretch. Nice inner thigh stretch. We're going to drop that leg and you're going to roll over onto that hip Bring that right leg in, and you're gonna feel that stretch in the hip. Press out. Roll that right leg back up. You're gonna turn back around, and you're gonna pull that left leg in. Malasana squat. You wanna sit back, feel that stretch Press the elbows into the knees, feel that stretch in the inner thighs. Try and get that pelvis down towards the floor. Hands come to the floor, walk the feet in, tuck the head, flat back, inhale. And exhale, roll down. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, come forward. Plant the hands, hop back. You can either do a chaturanga down into an upward facing dog. And then press back into your down dog. Abs are engaged, pull the stomach in, press the chest in towards the thighs and let's repeat everything on the left leg left leg comes up and you're going to open up that hip feel that stretch in the oblique you're going to come back pull the right leg in you're going to come up into a high lunge shirt down plant that foot and you're in a warrior one Open up to a warrior two, and then fall back to your warrior three. Stretch it out. You're gonna come forward, plant that left hand, right arm comes up, you can reach it over. Come back up, high lunge. You're gonna bring the arms down. You're gonna bring that left foot through, three-legged down dog. Open up that hip one more time. Feel that stretch in the oblique. Back up, pull through, and you're in lizard pose. Now you can drop that leg down if you want, or you can stay up, and you can come down onto your elbows. Make sure that the head is out of the turtle shell. Feel that stretch in the hip. If you want to press on that knee, you can. We're all going to lower it down onto the hip. Foot comes in and you're going to stretch out that inner thigh and that hip on the left leg. Bring it back around. Bring that Right leg in for Malasana. Press out 
on those knees, feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Bring the hands down, walk the feet in. One more time. In that forward fold, deep breath, inhale, flat back, exhale, fall down. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, and exhale, fall forward, plant the hands, hop back, chaturanga down, upward facing dog. Drop the knees, sit back into a child's pose. Remember, pull the shoulders back if you can. Shoulders, you wanna pull them back, down along the sides of your back, away from the ears. So don't hunch your shoulders up. And you're gonna come up and into a seated position. We're gonna bring those legs into the feet or together. Open up the toes if you can and press the knees down to the floor. Let's stretch out those inner thighs. If you can, pull on the toes and pull your chest forward and give yourself a nice inner thigh stretch. Release it, open the legs out wide. You, if you can go wider, that's great. You go to your range of motion. This is about as good as I can get without my feet rolling out. I'm working on opening my hips. I've gotten better. I used to never be able to come down onto my elbows. I have a slight bend in my knees. You're feeling that in the inner thighs and you're keeping the back flat as you fall forward. So you're stretching out the hips and the lower back. We're gonna walk over to the right side. Take that right arm and tuck it into that inner thigh. Bring that left arm up and over. Turn to that leg, sweep it around. Left arm goes down, right arm comes up and over. Turn to that left leg, sweep it around, stay here in the front one more time. Stretch out those hips, lower back, inner thighs. Walk it back up. Lay down onto the back, make your way down. Grab a hold of the knees and pull them in. Let that left leg go out, bring that right leg out to the side. You're gonna grab a hold with the out, grab a hold of the outer part of the foot with the right hand. Open it up and feel that stretch in the inner thigh and the hip. Try and keep that left hip on the ground. So if you need to take the left hand, place it on that left hip and hold it down. Gonna take that right leg, cross it over the left. You're gonna bend the left leg and you're gonna wag the tail of the dog. So you're gonna pull that right shoulder to the ground, pull onto the right or the left foot and feel that quadricep stretch. Right leg is over and you get nice hip and glute and into the piriformis. Breathe. Anywhere you feel tightness, send that breath to that area of tightness. Breathe in, inhale. As you exhale, breathe that tightness out of the body. Focus on releasing any tension in that area. You're gonna let go of the left leg, but don't let it slingshot. So you let go and you're gonna straighten that leg. Roll the right leg up. Grab a hold of the left leg and pull in. And this is a lying pigeon pose. You're 
going to release it down and cross that right leg. Pull both knees in, stretch it out. Let that right leg go out, left leg stays in. Pull it around the chest. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor. If you need to, put the right hand on that right hip and hold it down. Bring that left hand to the outside of the left leg and pull it out, stretch out that inner thigh. Open up those hips. You wanna sort of spread those hips. So try and keep that right hip on the floor as you take that left leg out to the left. Bring that left leg in. You're gonna cross the left leg over the right. You're gonna bend that right leg and grab a hold of that foot with that left hand. Now, you wanna pull that left shoulder to the floor and you wanna pull that left or that right leg, that toe up towards you and stretch out the quadricep on the right leg and the hip and glute on the left. You also feel a stretch in the waist. You're gonna release that right leg. Don't slingshot it, just let it go. Bring it back around. Bring that left leg on top of the right. Pull the right leg in. And lying pigeon pose. Stretch out the, push the elbow or the hand on that left knee and stretch out that inner thigh. Feel that stretch through the hip and the glute as well as the inner thigh. Release it, uncross that left leg. Feet together, pull in one more time. Pull in with the heels, keep the feet together, stretch out the inner thighs. Bring the right leg up and the left leg up, happy baby pose. Don't just pull down onto the feet, engage the back. So pull the shoulders back and feel the legs, the knees pulled down towards the floor. Breathe. Nice stretch in the inner thighs. Bring the legs together. Lower the feet down to the floor. Reach the arms overhead, deep stretch. Inhale. And exhale, lower the arms to the side. Roll over onto your side. Push the hand into the floor and sit up. Come up onto the feet. Bend the legs real deep. Cross the hands in front. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. Straighten the legs, place the hands on the floor, flat back, deep breath, inhale. And exhale, fall forward. We're gonna roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Arms overhead, deep breath, inhale and hands down to the front exhale that was your workout for the day thighs on fire so you should have felt it it is a total body but it was a lot of focus on the thighs if you enjoyed the video please remember to thumbs up it don't forget subscribe to my channel share it with some friends thank you for joining me and i will see you soon